So despite so much being made about Republicans appealing to unions, you claim that Teamsters President Sean O'Brien actually needs Republicans more than Republicans need him. Now, we know that unions are an important voting block for Republicans in many swing states, which makes what you said a pretty bold take. Uh, however, there's certainly merit to it. So why don't you tell us how unions actually need Republicans or the Teamsters Union in particular needs Republicans more than Republicans need the union from your point of view? Well, to answer your question, I think Sean O'Brien spoke at the RNC for two reasons. First, about 40 percent of union households, election after election, usually the third to 40 percent typically vote Republican. And as you know, almost all union giving usually goes to Democrats and left-leaning causes. In fact, the Center for Union Facts did a study and found that the Teamsters used the political giving of their dues, 99 percent of it went to left-leaning causes. So that was the first reason. And the other reason, I think he was just hedging his bets. Uh, you know, at the time, you know, uh, President Biden's poll numbers were cratering. Uh, President Trump is uh, doing very well in the polls. And I think that um, he did not want to be lumped in with the other unions that um, are, once again, going all in for Democrats. Now, the problem was that it was all political theater, and he essentially gave a speech that would have gotten resounding applause at the DNC as opposed to the RNC.